Okay, here we go. Welcome, guys. Happy Thursday. Hope you're doing well. We are going to be doing some X-Plane action tonight, and I'm just trying to get it going. I realized I didn't have any kind of a VATSIM uh, connection ability right before I started this, so that's what I was trying to work out real quick. So I think we got it, um, but what I haven't done is load up anything. Obviously, you can see here we're just getting ready to pick our stuff. I was just finishing up some sim brief things. So uh, main question you guys are asking, I know, is route. Uh, so I think what we're going to do tonight... Um, we're going to do the San Diego, San Francisco option with the op with the option to Vegas afterwards, depending on time. We'll see how long this whole thing takes. If it takes too long, we're going to scrub that because it is Thursday. I've got our stuff. I got to prep for tonight. Um, and, uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, tomorrow, uh, we will be flying. Um, but I am going to be going to the theater with my family and not the movie theater, the actual theater. Um, so, uh, but that, the show starts at seven. So I think we need to be there around six 30. So, um, we're probably going to start a little bit earlier, a little ahead of Friday night ops. Friday night ops is into Kansas city tomorrow. And so we'll probably do a start a little bit ahead of time so we can get there around the time when it's starting. Uh, so they'll be open by the time we get there. Uh, haven't decided where I'm going to fly out of yet. I'll let you guys put your suggestions into discord for that. But, um, so we will be starting earlier than four, like normal tomorrow, uh, so I can get done with enough time to be able to go to the theater. And then Saturday, I have a wedding in the afternoon, so we were not going to be doing our long one uh, Saturday, as I was originally planning on doing. I have to run tech for a wedding, so um, we'll do something else shorter, but we will be able to fly in the morning on Saturday. That one might start at 9 instead of 10, just to make sure we've got enough buffer. Uh, I don't want an Albuquerque situation going on. So, anyway... <laughs> And then possibly Las Vegas, uh, uh, Mayo. That's what I was talking about. It's a possibility, not a, not in stone. Don't go into Mexico again. Well, we're going out of San Diego this time, not into San Diego. So, um, why again? What? Wait, what? Why? What? Do you, what? What's the why to? I don't understand what your question is. Anyway, okay. So let me, uh, I need to finish sim brief here so I can do this. And actually, as part of that, I need to pick a route that I can work with. Thank you, Kramer, for the four months of Prime subscription. Awesome, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I think he means long. Oh, that could be, yeah. I know. Well, th it stuff keeps happening. I, I have to have, that, that flight is like eight hours long. So I've got to have an entire day. And it's called life. So... Uh, when, when you all have jobs someday that require you to make adjustments, you'll understand. So I just have to go with flow. Anyway, lies. Don't you tell me lies. Um, anyway, believe me, I'd rather fly than do the tech for the wedding, but that's my job. Okay. Sim brief. That's what I was doing. Um, so we're slant alpha with this thing. So the, the, the route he wants to give me is like all RNAV, and I'm not doing any of that. So we're going to have to kind of do our own route here. So let me pull up the tablet for you guys here. And uh, let's go to KSAN, San Diego. This is uh, Navigraph charts. Again, if you don't use this, I highly recommend you get it. Um, SIDS. So. Um, the border seven is an okay one. The Padres, I'm, I, I used to have all the ones memorized for going to San Francisco that are RNAV appropriate. In fact, I should actually, you know, I, I have a cheat sheet. I should pull that up because it'll tell me exactly what to use for the yellow A. Stand by. Stand by LAR Tech. There you are. Okay, I want... No, get your stupid loading bar away. Okay, not LAX SIDS. I want San Diego SIDS. That's not what I want at all. LOAs, here we go. <clears throat> all right, so if we're going into the Oakland RTAC, which is where we are, coming out of... And we're going to SFO. Uh, that's, that's ones we have to file for. Never mind. Okay, that's not what I really wanted. That's not the LOAs. That's not what I want. The KSNA. This is that's SNA. That's not what I want. KSAN. There we go. Okay. Uh, normal ops. That's tech routes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Northwest, Northwest. Here we go. Padres to the Pebble Six. Okay. So that's what we want. The Pebble Six and into we need to do the Big Sur, the Big Sur 3 for our arrival. 
that answers that i got the charts last month and still getting used to them yeah it takes a while once you when you get it, it it does take a while now you're having issues rothfield you've had all this time to get ready what the heck <laughs> uh didn't know you were streaming already oh yeah sorry uh that's okay we just started uh okay so what did i say the pebble six departure pebble six there we go so pebble six will take us either to catalina or to seal beach probably makes more sense to go to seal beach i don't know why we need to go to catalina so let's plan seal beach which is sli um let's go back over here to sim brief here so yeah because it would have us go on that ke risen splint stoked blah 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 so let's put in the pebble six pebble i'm not sure how they spell it actually for the thing let me see if it says p-e-b-l-e -E. okay pebble six and then we're going to seal beach with sli so we're going to put that there sli and then after that uh let's pull up the the big sur three in san francisco i left my heart all right big sur three arrival and uh it starts at the big sur vor so we need just need to route in between uh seal beach and big sur so um Let's go ahead and put that on the other end, though. So Big Sur is a BSR-3, BSR. So, whoops, too far. So this is going to be BSR, BSR-3. So this is what we got to fill in. And to do that, I'm going to go to flights just to get the map. Always puts me on the East Coast or by New York, which is annoying, but whatever. All right, are we on... Let's go up to high. So the uh, Seal Beach VOR is somewhere in here. Is that it? No, that's Paradise. Where is Seal Beach? There you are. <clears throat> All right, so that's Seal Beach. There's actually no real airway from there. Well, we can go to LAX at that point, I guess. So Seal Beach, we could do LAX and then LAX. Yeah, it makes less sense to go there. Let's see here. I'm trying to follow airways as best we can. Where's Big Sur at? There's Big Sur. So if we follow this guy here, that's a San Marcos VOR. That makes sense. So let's do LAX, Seal Beach, San Mar Seal Beach, <clears throat> LAX, San Marcos, and uh, from San Marcos can go up to Big Sur. Yeah. That's uh, RZS. Okay. So we'll do that. So SLI, LAX, RZS. Big Sur. There's a route. All right. Uh, okay. Let's analyze it. Let's see if it. Yeah. Look at that. Bingo. Boom. And that is how you build a non RNAV route, <laughs> right there, using charts. Uh, we're going to generate the OFP. Let it do its thing. Uh, yeah. Sorry, Kelsey. Not this time. Not this time. You can't win them all the time. <laughs> You took 20 minutes. Like, what do you mean I took 20 minutes? Don't tell me to shut it. <laughs> I got the charts to Mexico, and I love them. Yes, I know, right? It's you, you, you find once you get used to them, you can't live without them. They are necessity. I know. I, I took, that's what I'm saying. I took 20 minutes to start the stream, and you had all that time to... Anyway, whatever. Whatever. All right. Uh, really? You think we're going to get up there, huh? Well, maybe. 30,000 feet, I guess. We're coming from San Diego. Okay, so San Diego, let's see. I just need to load stuff in here. So f first of all, cargo, 47.2. Weight and balance, here we go. Payload, and, payload weight. Can I just type it in? I can. 47,200. Um, fuel is going to be 27,000 apparently 27,000 and wait what on earth what kind of wackadoodle <laughs> missing that right 
Whoa. Yeah, what the... What the heck have you done? 20... Why is it not changing that? 20... No, you idiot thing. 27,000. There we go. I'd be quiet, you. Oh, good grief. Who is... Wonderful. Uh, okay. <clears throat> now, what I want to know is why is it loading my fuel this way? Because it shouldn't... It should be even in the tanks until it can't be, and that's more of the thing. So we can get 10... Yeah, what, what is that nonsense all about? Let's try this. Why is it... Zero. There we go. 27,000. Okay, yeah, that's, that's called bad fuel loading, because... I happen to know in the 727 you load them equally until you can't. All right, so let's do it the old-fashioned way then. Da -da, da -da, da -da. Twenty-seven thousand divided by three is nine thousand. There we go. I should know that. <laughs> Stupid. Nine thousand. That's simple arithmetic. Nine thousand. Nine thousand. There we go. All right, so now they all burn down evenly. 47.2 in there. We're below our <clears throat> max weight, so we're good there. So we'll say done, and yay, okay. All right, location, change location. We are going to be in San Diego, but we're not going to be on the runway in San Diego. So uh, the cargo terminal is over here, so we're going to start at cargo ramp spot 2. So we'll say confirm that. I'm going to ignore the weather because it's going to be imported on its own. Time of day is, it says it's tracking real world time, but I have a feeling it's not. Actually, it is. Look at that. 6.44. All right. Fair enough. Well played, sir. Uh, start new flight. Yes, do it. Do it. What was that noise? Never heard that before. That was weird. Quit yapping about it. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I, know, I haven't set up Project Fly yet. Calm yourself. Let me do that now. Project Fly. So, let's see here. Create a new booking. You know what we don't have? Well, screw it. Uh, let's see. KSAN. Yes, because that looks like that. And KSFO. Manually enter. We are FedEx 1817 today. And select aircraft. This is where it may be a problem, because I don't know that I have a 727 in here. Oh, I do. Look at that. I don't think it's the right. Well, maybe it is. All right, I'm going to book that, and actually, I can go ahead and dispatch it, because right. I have my route, paste a route. Sim brief, copy, paste, take these direct nonsenses out, dispatch, and we'll say fly now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Project Fly has the route now, so if you want to uh, go ahead and get that, you can. Uh, gonna see if my aircraft will load at all. If not, then I will look it up. If that's the case, hopefully I can join you to this. Gotcha. So, did is it was it working and then suddenly it's not? Like I don't understand. Like, <laughs> what the heck? Uh, right. Oops, it's not. Type in all caps. I don't want to offend the night bot. There we go. So there's the route. Project Fly's got it. Pebble Six, uh, Seal Beach, Los Angeles, um, San Marcos, Big Sur, Big Sur Three arrival into San Francisco International. Uh, the other thing we need to do is see about getting um, uh, Vatsim online. We're going to try this. Oh, here's a question for those of you that fly X plane. Um, I have a squawk bo X squawk box here, and in preferences, I was trying to set up my push to talk button. When I hit a sign, it automatically puts 13, and I can't change it. 
Um, I really, I mean, I guess I could set a push to talk key and map a macro. That's just really annoying. But what, anyone else have a similar situation with that? Load it up early now, we'll load it all. That's right. Got the Coronado FA50. Don't know how I feel about it. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it either. But then again, I don't have it. So so anyway, if you have comments on that. Is TeamSpeak working, by the way? Because you guys are all really quiet on TeamSpeak. I'm kind of taking Coronado a back. Coronado is hear me? all right. There we go. Now everyone talks at once. <laughs> yes, I can hear both of you. Both Kramer and David. Uh, so oh, Thunder. Thunder. Uh, Kramer, so you're an X-Plane primarily, right? Yes. Uh, do you have x -Squawk Box? I do. And have you had that issue? With trying What's to... the issue? I'm trying to set up my push-to-talk button. And when... Oh, I've got the tablet in front of you guys. Hang on a second. Turn that off. <laughs> there we go. Um, I've got the push-to-talk button thing that I'm trying to select for the in the preferences. When I hit a sign, it automatically says 13. I don't know what 13 is, but it's definitely not the button I'm wanting. Because I'm pretty sure my button is 10. But when I hit a sign and hit the button I want, nothing changes. Uh, I deleted Squawk Box because I had to download a second uh, uh, copy of X-Plane. But try going in uh, to Joystick. Mm -hmm. In the settings. In the settings. Go into that button and see if you can find. Oh, okay. Let's. Okay, I see what you in mean. In the plugins, that. I think. That's I my. Yes. Got it. Well, see, that's the thing is, I don't know which one it's using. Of course, there's not going to be one for that one. So let's see. Is there even 13 buttons? Nope. So it's got to be this one. Okay. So button 13 is do nothing. You can always press the um, the button, and it'll show up on the uh, joystick what? configuration where it is. And it'll tell you what button it is. Well, except it doesn't show me an image for mine, because it's, it's dumb. But uh, it's a, uh, cancel. No, it. it'll highlight the button. When... Right there, it'll highlight the button when you push it. Well, I'm pushing. I'm not highlighting. Um, engage toga flaps. Oh, this is oh, oh, because that's not my. Oh, so button thirteen is on the. Oh gosh, on this thing over here. Crap. All right, so let's see here. That's that. Well, that's not good. Because that means it is. Oh no. Button thirteen is the throttle idle detent. <laughs> That's not helpful at all. <laughs> oh. Ah, okay, wait. Epiphany. Because it sees those as buttons, it's hot. I just, I think I just realized what's going on. Done. Preferences. Yep, bingo. That did it. Ha <laughs> ha. Sucka. All right. Yeah, because they were sitting on the on the detents, it, it considered that a hot button, and so it thought I was pushing it like constantly. So that, that makes sense. Okay, so that should take care of that. So good. Uh, let me pre-file this with uh, VATSIM. Pre-file on VATSIM, yes. And we are we are not slant Lima. We are slant whiskey because we are RVSM. Uh, let's see, live streaming on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Mustafa. All right, file that please. Goody. And... Does it? I've never tried it before. Let's see here. Uh, flight plan. What was it looking for? Flight plan files. That's helpful. Can it see the typical ones? Or is it looking for 
It's probably looking for X plane flight plan files. So let's give it one. X plane 11 download. Save. Load. Downloads. I don't see all those. And SFO. Oh, it does do that. Good. All right. Happy day. <coughs> All right. So that is loaded. If we come here to Xbox box and say connect, we're going to be FDX eighteen seventeen. Connect. And now that I'm connected, uh, send flight plan. Can I retrieve this automatically or no? Doesn't look like I can. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this. I'm going to say pre-file, and I'll just copy the information. It's not quite as robust as vPilot, but that's okay. KSAN. Oh, seriously. Be stupid about it. <laughs> KSFO alternate is KSMF. Cruise is 300. I'll leave that. Departure time is going to be at this point 2. Now I'll say 215. That's optimistic. 215. <laughs> Part time actual doesn't exist. Flight time in hours 1.25. Uh, yeah, well, sure, whatever. Uh, fuel, sure. Route. Let me just paste this. Copy. Paste. I don't know if it needs those, but I'm going to do it anyway. Dot 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 okay marks copy I can't spell Mustafa. There we go. And we're slant whiskey. IFR. We can transmit and receive. There we go. So it should be V. Send. Okay, so I think our flight plan is filed. I think. <laughs> we'll find out in due course, I guess. Okay, let's get this bird online, because we need to do that. So, first of all, where's my little menu here? No, no, no. Remember how to do this. There we go. GPU card. Kind of noisy, but all right. Uh, let's see here. Battery switch to on. And we're going to go to external power, actually. External power. As you know, if you right click, you can click on the cockpit to have it easier at work. Uh, 
What are you talking about? On your mouse, if you hold, um, right click and move the mouse around. Uh, no, for me it's a center button, but yeah. Sometimes that's easier, sometimes it's not, it just depends. Because what happens is then when I do my... There was a reason why I don't always do that. It has something to do with when something takes back over. I don't remember what it was now. I'm sure I'll do it and then go, oh yeah, that's why I don't always use that. <laughs> but yeah. But you're right, sometimes that is a lot simpler. Okay. So, those are all guarded. Test the stall warning. Which is the stick shaker. A flight test. It's good. Compass is slaved. All these are normal. Flight controls. There's uh, an flight control warning test. Anti skid. We don't. Is uh, guarded. That's good. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey guys. How you doing, man? Pretty good. I'm going to try out, try out the um, Coronado F850 Falcon 50 off for cool. Archer today. Awesome. I don't know if I like it so far. It's a little <laughs> strange. Well, it's, uh, it's about like the Mad Dog, you know? It was, it was quite a bit strange until I get used to it. Yeah, I w I'm regretting it a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me, I wish I would have got the King Air, kind of. Oh. Whatever, it's pretty good. It's good looking, so I don't really care. I'm carrying all those products are all usually pretty good. So. Does anybody have it other than me? I don't. I can't seem to figure out what the button for this, uh, like, ground operations thing will be. Oh. Or the Boop. external power and all that. That's that. Okay, well, I guess that's all good. Um, okay, we're going to be in nav. Mayo, usually with uh, Carinado aircraft, you should have those uh, men that menu to your left, the left towards the bottom of the screen that you can pull out. Oh, San Diego Ground is online. One, what was that? Two, three, I'm not the next plane. I'm in P3D. Oh. Yeah, I don't really can't figure it out. There's no, there's like literally no guides on it either. That's kind of annoying. That has to come up every time. <laughs> Is there a way to get that to not show up as much? Uh, there's a little more. All the aircraft on the street be advised that it's closing now. Is there a tool for the page to get the plane to the station to you? Of course it is. As soon as I get on, sitting your ground goes away. Of course they do. Alright, screw it. Well, good. Now I can do my own thing. Alright, uh, there we go. Okay, so checking our panel here. We don't need galley power. We don't need any of that. This is going to be showing external power at the moment. Test our fuel quantities. B pumps on and open the ground interconnect. Uh, packs don't need to be on yet because we don't have air connected. We're going to be at 30,000 feet. And landing altitude, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> Stop that. Okay. I think we're pretty much there. 
Let's go ahead and get our first frequencies loaded in. Everything.exe has stopped working. Is that seriously a thing? Everything.exe? Make sure my throttles are working good. That's Togo. Yeah, there's the first. Okay, good. Sounds more like a fatal error, I know, right? Jeez. All right, frequencies. So go look up sim brief here. Look at the flight plan. So the first one out of here. So actually, let's look at the route. Uh, airports. K S A N. Sid. Nope, not the border. Double six. Okay, so. Basically, we're going to take off and immediately uh, head to 293. And at the, this is going to be fun. So at the 170 degree radial of the Oceanside VOR, we're going to start, we're going to turn to a heading of 318 to intercept the 293 radial off of Mission Bay. So we're going to, we're going to take off, we're going to fly 293, we're going to be parallel to it. Once we hit 170 of Ocean side, then we turn 318 to intercept 293 off Mission Bay. At 30 DME from Mission Bay is Mel uh, Meldy, or Med Melody, uh, which we need to be above 14,000 feet for, or lower ATC sign altitude, but we don't have ATC, so I'll do that. And then 9 DME later is the Pebble, and then that's when we'll turn towards Seal Beach. And it'll be a 148 degree radial, um, or the uh, th uh, 328 degrees heading to Seal Beach. So, the first two we need are Mission Bay and Oceanside. So, Mission Bay is 117.8. So, I'm going to tune that in here. And then the Oceanside, we actually need that on a secondary radio. So, that needs to be over here. This is Oceanside is 115.3. And then the next one we're going to take a seal beach, which is 115.7. And after seal beach is the LA VOR. So let's go back to the area with that. Pick up the LAX VOR, which is right there. Which, uh, there you are, 113.60. And we'll put that over here. Okay, so our first heading is going to be 293. I'm going to put that down here in the ADF. This is a trick I got from Captain Tim. 293 and then 318 is the intercept. And it's 293 again. I'm just going to remember that. And then we go uh, 328. And finally. From Seal Beach to LAX is 281. All right. So we're going to set our first heading here as 293. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to set this as 318. So that's 3, 10, that's 20, it's somewhere in there. It's about that. So there we go. Okay, those are set. We're going to set our V speeds right now. Okay. Well, the tablet's in a way. I can't see what you're doing. Thank you. Sorry. I'm going to set our V speeds. 
and we'll set bugs that will change those there so we're looking at v1 is 121 vr 121 v2 133 uh sorry that's flaps 20 i'm not going to do flaps 20 we're going to do flaps 15 so let me set bugs again there we go so 129 129 141 flapper track speeds uh flap 5 at 171 and uh, flap two 190, flap up 200. So by the time we get to there, we should be flaps clean. All right. So that takes care of that. I don't think I need to do anything there. No. That's all fine and good. Yep, okay. Um, on the 14,000 was that that first altitude we have to be out above. So I'm going to set that just to make sure we hit that target. Hopefully we do. A little light check here real quick. Make sure everything's working. Looks like it is. Okay. Alrighty. Let me figure out Mr. Perfect Pushback here. Uh, not you. Perfect push. Better pushback, rather. So we are over here, and we've got to. How do we. Oh, okay, like that. They've got ways to push us back, don't they? trouble seeing the line there we go guess that's mostly the line right there so I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna come all the way back this is a long pushback <laughs> too far. Dang it. Uh, delete segment. There we go. Stick us right there. All right. Accept that. Ground to cockpit. Plan acknowledged. Call me through the menu when you are ready. It's a long route. <laughs> Hey, Fort Doctor, how's it going? For some reason, all of a sudden, you hates me. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot. Got to check the uh, fire chest bell there. Good deal. All right, so we're going to get uh, the APU started up here first. All right, and while that's firing up, I'm going to do... So I think I have this set for X-Plane. Yep. Oh, you're right. <laughs> Forgot about that little bug. What was it that does that? I'm trying to remember what that... Oh, it's F5, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Got it. Yeah, I gotta turn that off, actually. Let me see if I can turn that off right now. Uh... Oh, no, I probably can't, because I think mine's set up as a, a mute... 
Yeah, but we're just going to leave that alone for now. I'm just going to be aware of that. Okay. Because I can do this and then look over here. So we're going to close that field. Switch this to APU. Ah APU is cycling. That's disconnected. We will turn our packs on now. Outflow and Gasper fan. And we can turn off that. Okay, now if I recall correctly, I think if I hit the ground crew call. think they will come do their thing. I don't think I saw that, Sean. What you posted? I must have missed that. Also, does Fly Live work with this? I don't remember. Oh, yes it does. Okay. KSAN, KSFO, FDX, 17. Apply. Oh. Well, it started out where I was supposed to pick up a ride. So it's up. They were nowhere to be found. Couldn't get a hold of me or anything. And then I get home after the route. There are obituaries in the paper. Oh. And then that night, uh, shortly before I'm going to bed, I'm surfing Facebook, and I find out uh, one of the guys I went to school with passed away. Oh my goodness. Two in one day is not good. No, it is not. Okay, all doors and hatches are closed. Yeah, Ready to connect. To go somewhere else. Yeah. Did he say release the parking brake? Is that what that was? So connected and bypassed and inserted. Release parking brake. Oh, now it was. <laughs> Can you just start spin the plane around? And you may start engines. I'm going buy some more bags. Oh, nice. Hey, Roger Solis. Yeah, it has been a long time. I've been good. How are you, man? And uh, I Traveler. Yeah, I, I, I guess I could just do that, but that'd be cheating, so I don't want to. Um, i got to remember what my views are here. Nope, that is a flap thing. That is not what I wanted to do. Shift to... Oh, that's those views. Okay. I love that. You can see the APU coming out of the wing there. The the heat heat line. No wing walker? Pushing us back. Apparently not. Better push back doesn't need them, I guess. But you see the APU uh, exhaust coming out of the wing. The exhaust is right there. Uh, let me see if I can... It's not really modeled, but it, it would be like right, the outlet's like right there, just just above the wing. It's dark and stormy San Diego day, apparently. We'll start our engines here in just a second. I'm trying to remember what my views are for the, oh, maybe it is this. Oh, yeah, and that's super loud. That's right. So we gotta be careful of that. <laughs> hey Kramer, did that storm pass by? Can you see uh can you see on the FS lab there was Oh really? Yeah, sorry there, Kevin. <laughs> APUs are supposed to be loud. Yeah, it, they are supposed to be loud and it is loud, I'll tell you what. 
I've heard the real thing on the real 727. It is noisy. All right, let's go ahead and start our uh, engine fire up procedure here. So we're gonna we're moving, so the beacon should be on at this point. Uh, let's go ahead and get our packs off. Galley power is already off. We're gonna open our fuel pumps. Or turn on the fuel pumps, I guess. Better, better wording. And we're gonna start with engine number three. Temperature's coming up. Oil light should go off in a moment. There it goes. And that's a sign we're good to start the next one. Go ahead and start number two. Graham, we're waiting for uh, <coughs> N2 to get up to about 20% there, and then we'll inject fuel. Uh, I'm pushing right now. <laughs> I'm doing good, Kevin. How you doing, man? This will be faster. This way. All right, and number one. Oh, I need to tell that thing to go away. JFK to Miami. Oh, nice. What? Uh, Seven thirty-seven. Uh, I figured. Alright, number one coming online. I ain't no commie. <laughs> yeah, someone was posting that the, uh, in, uh, was it Chili Stream? I think it was Chili Stream that the uh, A320 was communist. Because it comes from France, because France is communist, I guess. Granted, they're socialist, but I don't know if they're. They're not quite communist yet, but still, it was pretty funny. I enjoyed it. All right, so that's all online. We can close the guard there. Let's get the uh, packs back on. We're going to close the uh, inside guys there. And we need to adjust our, our buses here. So we're going to go set to Gen 3. And we're gonna trip that one on. And we're gonna synchronize. That's as close as it's gonna get, Gen 2. And we're gonna synchronize Gen 1. All right, all gens on the bus. We can disconnect the ground interconnect and close that. We're going to shut down the APU. Turn off the red light. <laughs> I'm sure it's fun to fly. I'm, I'm not knocking. I'm not knocking the bus in general. I'm sure it's fun. Well, there's just something about a Boeing. 
Uh, what is our trim setting supposed to be, by the way? Uh, 4.93. Uh, let's see, that is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, yeah. Yeah, so right, right about there. Uh, I am Dhruv, uh, go ahead, which question? You seem to have all the knowledge of flying. Were you instrumental in the 9-11 attack? <laughs> oh gosh. Let's let's not uh, let's not make jokes about the 9/11 stuff. That's just not right. That's just not right. All right, we're getting close to the end of the taxi here. Did that actually do anything? Ah, <laughs> uh, not sacked for now. We'll see. Well, it's sacked for now. We'll see. Boeing will bounce back. I, I, I have confidence. Mayor, is that you down at the end, near the end of the runway on two seven by two seven? Yeah, I'm parked over at like a GA ramp. Well, uh, it's not a not about a strong stomach there, buddy. It's it's more about what's appropriate and what's not. Operation so. complete. Set parking brake. Break set. Disconnecting tow. Stand by. Wonderful. Standing by. My, uh. uh there's my logo light. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shift, uh. One of these is tower. That's. That's tower? Is that us kicking up a bunch of nonsense? <laughs> what is going on there? Disconnect hand signals, yes, thank you. This is tower. So what is that? That's four, that's three, that's five. Five is tower, okay. Yeah, why are we throwing all kinds of crap? <laughs> Always disconnected, on bypass then has been removed. Hand signal on the left. We'll see you next time and have a good flight. Thank you, sir. So check our flight controls here. Rudder full left, full right. All right, that's good to go there. And elevator two down and two up. Flight controls are checked. Flaps coming down to 15. That might have just been five. I might have to go down one more. All right, taxi light on. Brakes released. Nope, that's 15, okay. And away we go. Uh... E-Malaysia? You mean the... You mean the missing one? Uh, 370? That one's just interesting. I really... Someday they're gonna find that thing, and I really am curious what the heck happened. What else do you talk about here? I'm okay with talking about aircraft crashes. I mean, it's just about doing it in an appropriate manner. So, um, I, I don't. I don't even mind talking about 9/11 in general, as long as it's done appropriately. We don't want to make light of it, obviously. A lot of people just avoid it just because it tends to lean that way if people start talking about it. So, that's all I'm saying. All right, Mayo, I'm coming towards you. So, if you want to take to the runway, I'll follow you. What was that, Mayo? You're able to go first. So oh, okay. All the way there. Alright. Why do you see a 737? That's... It's probably because the model matching on my X-Plane thing sucks or something, so I don't know. I have um, it's... Do we have... A completely different aircraft. <laughs> Wait, what are you flying? Oh, you're flying that Falcon thing, huh? Yeah, the Falcon 50. Yeah, all, all it can all it can model match right now is what defaults with with X plane. That's why. So it's defaulting to a 37 just because. Uh, excuse me. A 37 without landing gear. 
Oh, SNA Towers online. No, it's SNA. Never mind. Thinking of. Yeah, I don't care about that. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. No. Uh, You're at S A N. I know. I I I just that's why I caught myself right in the middle there. I figured it out. All right, we're gonna take to the runway here. Strobes coming on, which are those guys right there. Yep. And dome light off. Oh, that was that. overshoot there as I'm fighting with the lights. What's the arrival uh, runway? Uh, probably 2-8 right. Uh, right. By the way, almost 80 gigs worth of stuff on my Xbox. Oh my gosh. Mumbai Airport, yeah. Alright, here we go. What's a cruise up, dude? Before you leave. What was that? What are you taking for cruise up, dude? 330? 300. Roger. All right, gear up. All right, we're going to turn to 293. Flat five coming in. And we're going to pull back climb power. Okay, we're looking for the 170 degree radial, which is also 350 right there for Oceanside. And then we'll turn.
No, Mumbai is not the capital of India. New Delhi is the capital of India. That's it. Hey, man, how's it going? Slow. Does <laughs> it do all flight calculations and everything else here? Really ah. Yeah, that's why I ain't flying. If I didn't have the calculations, I would be flying. I had to fly. I had to do a receptor of flight. Gotcha. Alright, that's 10,000 feet. Landing lights off. Take a quick check back here on the pressurization, make sure it's on and working. We do have a duct overheat here. Uh, yeah. Back to that in a moment. All right, there's 350, so we're going to now turn to intercept. Coming in, so we'll start to turn back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna go over 14 now, that's fine. Set 30. Okay, while it's doing that, we're going to sort out our duct overheat here.
why aren't these guys um oh probably because of the pitch angle that's right all right 35 so we passed our 14,000 mark which we were okay with and we actually need to reset 2992 and and at 39 we're going to turn on for the LAX one so that is uh, I'm sorry uh, Seal Beach which is 115.70 which I'm going to set this now and that's uh, 328 So there's 39, we're going to set three twenty-eight. Yes, thank you Sean. We do want to keep our stream PG, I appreciate that. Goodness. Uh, what's the screenshot command again in uh, X-Plane? Might tell me up here. I own file, it should tell you. What was that? File. Oh, shift space. Yep. File. Got it. Thank you. Nice, David. All right. About 24 miles from Seal Beach, and then we'll turn toward LAX. LAX will be 281. And so I'm going to start resetting some of my information here so I can rebuild my database. And LAX is 113.60, so we'll set that here. And we got LAX there. Go over here and look at Charts Cloud and see after LAX, San Marcos is next, and that is stop that. What is the heading there? One hundred three. Should be 283. Yeah. The What was that, ma'am? It was say, uh, when are you direct? Are you direct uh, Big Sur? Or? No, we're direct um, Seal Beach at the moment. Okay. And then from there, LAX, from LAX, San Marcos, San Marcos, Big Sur.
we're coming up on the turn here. Sky is pretty tonight. What was that? So where's Jeff when you need him? What do you mean? No, I need, I need He's good with the uh, FSL, so yeah, that's what he's good with it. He's good with the what? The FS FSL. Oh, is someone needing FS Labs help or something? Yep. What, uh, what Orbex did you get there, Fort Doctor? Alright, there's the switch over. Yeah, I just picked the... I just picked up both of the labs, the scare, the scare buses today. So. Oh, okay. So then we got work on learning this MCDU, and then it's our fault. Gotcha. Ballroom dance. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard, sir. But now we get my charts and stuff to start my playpen. So yay! Yay! Global, Vector, and North America. Nice. Very nice. A lot of people poo-poo Vector, but I actually enjoy it. I like having the coastlines and the roads and stuff all more accurately done. All right, we only got 16 miles to, oh, what did I say? 103. Oh, it was 281. So then it's 283. San Marcos is uh, Sorry, what were you saying, Mel? When I'm outside, I can't hear anybody, apparently. <laughs> the airplane might be below you in front of you. It might be me. I think I saw my lights. In front of you, or in front of me, or behind me? In front of you. Oh, right there. Uh, I think I see what you're talking about. Let me see here. Uh... Uh, yep, that's you. Flying over LAX at the moment, switching over to San Marcos. And we're now direct San Marcos. And we climbed through 30,000 feet. That was dumb. Vertical speed. I forgot to hit the alt select on here. <laughs> Haven't flown this thing in a little while. Can you tell? But we'll not be paying attention. So I can do some cross country flying. Nice. Yeah, it's already getting toward 8. I, I think this is going to be the one and done for tonight. So, um, But we'll be flying tomorrow and Saturday. 
I do love the 727 though, it is nice. Alright, so after San Marcos, what do we got? Is Big Sur. Stop doing that. And that is. Oops, stop that. Three oh four looks like. Roughly. This is one fourteen hundred. speed the aircraft in our descent. <laughs> All right, we should be leveling off. Yeah, there we go. Three oh four and fourteen hundred speed sir. What's your kind of Bach number? What's my what? Bach number. Uh, about 0 .81, 0 .82, something like that. It's a dial, so it's not going to be quite accurate. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing right now? I see you in front of me. 0 .81. About the set the 0 .82 as I hit flight level 300. Gotcha. Why'd my thing come up and say disconnected from first voice room? What is that? Did I get booted off the network? Is that what just happened? No, can I still see you? No, I see you. Yeah, I see you too, so. Washington Center's being a little saucy tonight, huh, Kevin? <laughs> Watch the toots. About 34 miles from San Marcos, and then we're going to head up to Big Sur. Let's look at what our uh, stuff looks like after for Big Sur arrival here. KSFO. Um, oh. <laughs> KSFO. Oh, there we go. All right, Big Sur arrival. Let's bring up the tablet. All right, so from Big Sur, we are going to head uh, 309 to Carme, which is off the 210 radial of the Salinas VOR. And then we'll turn to 331 
And we'll pass Skunk. Uh, we'll plant across that at or below 12,000. And Skunk is 44 DME from the Oakland VOR. And then Boulder. Expect clearance to cross at 10,000 feet, 250 knots, 34 DME from the Oakland VOR. And then Menlo is pretty much the start of our arrival, generally. And that is at 38 degrees off the Woodside VOR. And 16.1 DME off of the Oakland VOR. And at Menlo, we turn 330, and it's vectors to final, so we'll intercept the ILS heading for uh, 28 right at that point. All right, so off of Big Sur, it's 309. Actually, we're going to do this. So we're going to be 304 next, right? Yeah. yeah. 304 is next, so we'll do that. Then we have 309. Followed by 331. And finally, 330. All right, Big Sur, we've got 114. No, sorry, 114.90s of Big Sur is 114.0. The next one after that will be Salinas 117.3 that we'll need. Yeah, I, I just turned Big Sur. Direct base, sir. Copy. Three and uh, Oakland is one sixteen eight. Eleven miles from San Marcos, and then we'll turn Big Sur as well. When you're asked to squawk ident and you do so, but haven't heard back in a while, is it okay to double check and make sure they have radar contact? Uh, no, you should you should check back. That's probably a good idea because they should respond radar contact where you are and to say, you know, make sure they actually have you. And if they get saucy about that, just tell them, well, you asked and you didn't answer, so. <laughs> just get saucy right back. I did like five times. I did. It's probably just blowing up on his screen. He's like, why does he keep doing it? <laughs> Checking in on our duct pressure. Everything looks good. Voltages are good. Fuel is good. This plane's important because there's no flight engineer actually with you to make sure you're looking at this panel occasionally. Because, like, we had the duct overheat light actually shut down our pressurization system. And we would have uh, depressurized as we got up too, too high before dealing with that. Uh, you could have an oil issue. You want to make sure your engines are being well lubricated. You got a fuel pump issue. So a number of things you got to constantly be aware of. All right, we just passed over the uh, VOR, so we're going to switch over to 1400 and 304. And I thought I had Big Sur, but I'm not getting it. So we're going to do it the manual way. Uh, hitting select. 1400, right? Big Sur, 114.0, yep. <clears throat> That's weird. Alright, Salinas is set 116, okay, good. And 116.80 is Oakland, That's the next one that's going to be important.
Server 3 arrival, I'm always speed breaking that approach. <laughs> yeah, it could be. This is the big sir, because uh, we're not RNAV, so I have to do... Uh... I can get the Oakland VOR. Why can I not get the uh, the big sir VOR? Hey, Mayo, are you tracking the big sir VOR right now? FedEx 1817, Mayo, FedEx 1817, Mayo, come on back. Uh, Mayo, you're David. <laughs> Earth to Mayo, Earth to Mayo. No, not report to Mayo. I'm trying to get Mayo to talk to me. Well, that's the Salinas VOR I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah, no, it looks like this is going to be uh, the one and done. Is there a... Uh Curious here. Wait a minute. Okay, why can't I show anything? Like, I'm not even centered on this. Like, what the heck? No one cares about the flight path. here. Do we? Does this work? No. Oh, that's us there, okay. I was like, what the heck? Huh? 
How do you get this to center on you? Because it's not... Press the center thing in the... What's below. what center thing? Where the arrow was, just below it. I believe. You talking about this? Because it's not centering on my aircraft. <laughs> that does that. You might have to zoom in. Ah, okay, there we go. Yeah, Big Sur, 114.0. Why does it not see it? Yeah, why does the sim not see it? That's just too weird. Alright. Let's make it sure uh, uh, X-Plane didn't have a different thing for it. Error report alert. Error report has stopped responding. System number two has stopped responding. Good grief. What is going on with your computer there, David? literally have 99 problems. But Moose is not one. Thankfully, no. Moose.exe has stopped responding. <laughs> yes, that is indeed a fatal error. You do not want to get that. Moose.exe has stopped working is always bad. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Hey, so in a completely different subject, Kramer.exe is somewhere. Uh, have any of you guys seen uh, or witnessed the uh, the new Twitch Sings thing? It's basically like Twitch karaoke. Nope. No. I think there'd be more call for Twitch ASMR. Well, they already have that. <laughs> 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 and let me tell you, that is the most ridiculous thing. I don't understand what people's fascination is with that, but, you know, whatever. Yeah, you should check it out. It actually looks like it's kind of fun. I'm, I'm playing with it on my own, not playing to stream it or anything, but... Uh, I would love to see that. I'm sure you would. I'm sure you would. I mean, you do do choir. Okay. I, do, I do. So I might do it. We'll see. We'll see. I, 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 gotta, I gotta find out if I can do it, get a mic that's good. Okay, I don't think this is gonna do it. <laughs> you know what puzzles me is why is it that... And uh, the people who actually do ASMR uh, email of a specific look. That's it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> hmm. Although I know the answer to that. I can't say it, but I know the answer to that. <laughs> okay. Uh, but yes. What's yeah. David talking about? Well, that's not David. That was uh, Kevin. He's talking about ASMR. It's the, it's the like... It's the audio weird. It's it's like a set of ears, and they just do these weird like sounds on either side and whispering it's and making. Creepy. It is super creepy. It is. It's just weird, <laughs> and it's hours of that. <laughs> like I don't understand. The, the only thing I like is have you guys ever heard like eight D music? Wait, say it one it's more like time. Eight D music. It's like music that plays, but it goes like around your headphones. And feels like it's just like surrounding you. Oh, I have not heard of that. Yeah, that's, it, it is pretty awesome. They use some sort of phase thing to make it sound. Shut down his computer and restart his computer. Wait, what are you what are you saying there, crypto? I, I don't follow your. Pretty much every readback you get, you just have to sing it. 
Oh gosh. That only works if you're going to do it in like an operatic style. Although it'd be funny, I'd get kicked off of that soon, probably. <laughs> Especially on an FNO. Actually, you know what, it would come, it would come off sounding like, have, have you guys seen those, uh, I don't know if they play where you guys are, but they play constantly over here, and they're probably, it's probably more local, so you guys may not have heard of this, but there's a guy called J.G. Wentworth. And it's, uh, it's basically... 877 Cash Now? Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> See, everyone knows it. it. It's He does this one where it's like all opera guys. Like, go J.G. Whip Whip, 877 Cash Now! That's how it would come off sounding. It'd be like, FedEx 1817, cleared for takeoff right now! It'd be ridiculous. This is good. Uh, this is good. Be funny. Oh. It's on uh, PBS or whatever. Wait, what about PBS? <laughs> it's like a, a telethon. Hey, South Eighty Eight, you just came in at the wrong time. <laughs> we're we're discussing a combination of Twitch Sings and uh, and Vats and F and O. So basically, you have to uh, sing back all your uh, readbacks. In opera style, like a JG Wentworth commercial, which may or may not mean anything to you, depending on if you get those commercials. Oh, hey, there's a Big Sur. Finally picked it up. Not stinking time. All right, 304 is what I want. So let's switch back to that. How you doing, Elt Southwest? Hope life's treating you well. We're just doing a little bit of X-Plane uh, 727 flying in uh, on the West Coast of California. In-flight conversations, yeah. You might, I don't think there's a D in conversations, but okay. Could have helped me with my awful issues. <laughs> yeah, I know, 877 cash now, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, exactly, unfortunately. It's my money, and I want it now. Uh, yeah, we are doing Friday Night Ops tomorrow. Um, we're going to do it a little bit early because I'm going to the theater uh, in the evening. I'm going to probably need to leave around 6 or 6.30. So uh, we're going to probably start flying a little ahead of 4, my time. And that way we can get into Kansas City once the FNO is going. But we'll probably take off a little before it officially starts. But we will fly tomorrow. I just don't know where we're flying from yet. Well, we'll fly into Kansas City. That's the uh, focus city. <laughs> what happened to the theater? <laughs> Alright, we're 34 miles from Big Sur, and then... What's the... Sir, there you go. So the 210 radio off of uh, off of uh, Salinas. So it's going to be pretty close to a 180 degree swing. But we're getting Let's Oakland over. I'll catch you all tomorrow. See you later. All right, see you, man. Are we getting Oakland yet? That's Salinas. Yes, we are getting open. Good. Okay, so. Uh, let's see. We need to be at 12,000 at Skunk, which is 1634, 40. All right, we definitely should start descending. I'm going to start probably descending about 10 miles from Big Sur. Just to be on the safe side. This thing tends to descend kind of slowly. Pr 
permission to use pillows when available, yeah. Oh. Never turned my pedos on, that's not good. Oh, I thought that's what the Chris Hansen, Chris Hansen was for. <laughs> um, so speaking of Twitch things, I was watching one guy last night. Um, he's actually two guys. And they ended up doing, they did uh, Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. And the one guy was like doing the full-on French accent by Lumiere. It was fantastic. It's actually pretty fun to watch if they're doing it right. But it's always fun. You get a you get a, a mix of people that really do it well, a mix of people that are kind of hilariously bad, and then other people that are just bad. <laughs> and it's and it's just kind of sad. Did that be uh, Russell Crowe? Uh, I don't know. I I actually didn't mind his vocals in Les Misérables. Um, it actually I think I think he got a lot more flack than he deserved for that. I actually, more than anything else, actually, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, who played Jean Valjean? Um, can't think of his name. Wolverine. What is his name? Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, what? How can I forget his name? Okay, well, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. His, his vocals actually graded me a little bit more because he was always, like, so high in his register doing Jackman. his stuff. Hugh Jackman, thank you. Uh, that it was like, it, it just was like, eh. it was It was kind of painful a lot of times. Yeah, thank you, Salazade. Yeah. So I actually enjoyed Russell Crowe's vocals better than, than his. Um, the girl who did... Um, uh, epit, uh, epa, epa, whatever the, the girl who like is shunned by the guy that's going to war and is love in love with uh, what's her name, instead she her vocals were amazing. She did a fantastic job. Who? Anne Hathaway. No, she was she was good too. The other girl, the the other girl, the um, uh. She's like secretly in love with one of the with with the guy that falls in love with Jean Valjean's quote unquote daughter. Oh yeah, we need to descend. Okay. Uh, let's see. L three oh nine. You know who they were missing in there? Pierce Bradley. This is true. Uh, good question. <laughs> I think it's over in the southeast section, southeast area, like beyond or just before. It's like between cargo, so it's not. It's it's about like the south middle. Never mind, because cargo is southeast, so it's like south middle. Uh, let's see. Let's set ten thousand. 10,000, and we're going to say, I just hold, We begin descending. We'll try not to overshoot. Uh What's it called this time? Where's that?
So I believe the point at which Skunk is 44 DME from Oakland VOR. Okay, good. So we're at 78 DME now. And what is the 28 right ILS? Is 1117 and What a beauty. That's cool. It's like purple crap coming out of my engines. Although that appears to be Monterey. That's a little distressing because that means... Oh, no, that's right. That's right. It seemed like my angle was off, but no, I was right. Yeah, that's Monterey Airport right there. This is uh, Pebble Beach is out here somewhere. Golf course. <laughs> that's really cool, the little purplish... Uh, wafting coming off the engines. We're basically going to fly right up over Santa Cruz. It's the only chemical that you can use to mind control the people below. That's right. We're spraying them. Got to tell them what to do. Man, that's gorgeous. Screenshot that. Don't get that thing. No, no. Oh, I lost my window. <laughs> oh, well, at least I got it with the other stuff there. I don't care. Got all hazy all of a sudden. Uh, who remembers the good old days when we built dirt houses <laughs> in Minecraft? <laughs> That's the only good old days that I remember building dirt houses, because I'm not that old. <laughs> I have Minecraft. I still play it every once in a while. All right, that's 20,000 feet. Getting close. We're at 54, so we're 10 miles from where we're supposed to, where we expect to be out of below 12. It's not a uh, hard and fast, apparently. Yeah, I know. Fortnite, really. Ugh. Everyone? I want to see Moose try and play one game of Fortnite. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'm also uh, lining with the, uh, here, right? I got ethics. What were you, you saying, Mel? Uh-huh. Oh. Where, where are you at the moment, Mel? I'm almost, uh... Am I ever set the airless? Or do I? But there's still localizer in, I don't know, 10 north miles. Gotcha. Yeah, no. If, if, I, if I had no job in real life, I wouldn't be playing Minecraft all day, because that would get my numbing. 
I mean, she probably won't, won't even let Fortnite anywhere within a mile radius of your computer. This is correct. Uh, what's the altimeter? KSFO. 29 or 9 or 6. We're looking at 290 winds at 17 knots. A few clouds at 1,000 uh, feet, scattered at 20,000 feet. Temperature 13, 2.8. Altimeter 299 or 6. Okay. Two nine nine six set there. Two nine nine six set and cross checked. All right. Altimeters are set. I'm gonna put the landing lights on now at this point. There's 44. We're a little high on our profile, but we're still technically okay. Um, for the big sir. Yeah, it's an expect to cross at or below 12,000. Uh, we do need to be uh, 10,000 feet at 250 at Boulder, which is in another 10 miles, so I think I'm going to uh, increase the descent here a little bit. How was everybody's Thursday today? Uh, my Thursday was really good, actually. Spent most of the day doing uh, R&D for a new uh, monitoring system at the church. Wow, there's a lot of turbulence out here. I don't know what going solid means when I asked how their day was, but hopefully it was good. Uh, South of State Indiana, do not. Um, I just know I'm flying into MCO, uh, not MCO, that's Orlando. MCI. <laughs> Get my AKOs right. Come on, get down, you limey plane. All right, we're within a thousand feet now, so that's good. Now we just gotta slow down. I think I know what you get moves for his birthday. Uh oh. <laughs> get him a custom-made button so that when he pushes it, it says "Encrypt, be quiet." <laughs> Great gift to me. <laughs> I think everybody needs that. I'll actually see if I can get one of those. I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, we're supposed to be at 231 right now, huh? Got a thing to put over their mic, like the easy button thing. Oh, I thought they were playing for a second with free. I know, I thought it was something in the like squawk box. I was like, what's going on? No, you 
been trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise, Hugh Jackman is a girl. What? The lead role in Greatest Show. Atlanta MCI? That could be a nice fight. Oh gosh, we are so far off. Okay. I guess I could just get you to stop talking, but... Attention, that was dumb. One eleven seven. Also, too, you need to be down around three thousand feet to get below the. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, yeah. Now Twelve bucks here. Record your own phrase. <laughs> Only one up in the house. Man, I, love I found Miss's birthday present. So Kramer, did you figure out if you're going to be able to go to Expo yet or not? Not quite, but by the looks of it, my dad has a hotel reserve just in case we can. Gotcha. Actually, I'm going to go ask him right now. <laughs> I will be back. Okie dokie. Let's see if he's hiring for a seven-figure salary. You know. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like money. <laughs> Do you move for six figures? Probably. But that'd be if it's a if it's six figures and it's a job I, I feel like I'm going to enjoy. Like if it's a job that's gonna make my life a living hell and the only benefit is the money, then I probably wouldn't do it for that. Well, I mean, shoot, San Francisco's offering a hundred thousand if you clean up the poop. Well, that's true, but you have to live in San Francisco and it costs you a hundred thousand dollars <laughs> to live there, so Right. That's true, yeah, so so there, there are other factors, yes. <laughs> uh, I'd say Moose is probably more of the, the emo variety back in the sixth grade. You know, goth variety. That sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> Black Still green nails, the trench coat, all of it. <laughs> yes.
I make it into it right. Okay, I'm getting ready to turn final right now. What was your sixth grade? Li what was my sixth grade like? Um, it was okay. Um, I had a teacher who, unfortunately, she was okay, but she had trouble controlling her class, and that made it annoying for me. I really enjoyed my fifth grade, actually. My fifth grade teacher, Mr. Chand, was awesome. He's an Indian guy. He was fantastic. I loved him. Did he work for Microsoft Tech Support? He did not. Sorry, that was kind of racist. It was, know. but... I did not mean any of that. <laughs> I know you didn't. <laughs> I did not get bullied. I wasn't bullied. I actually wasn't really bullied in school that I can remember. No, you had to come out of school to get bullied. <laughs> yeah. And Krypton knows what it feels like because he gets bullied by us all the time. That's true. All right, let it be known, we are not landing in Mexico this time. Bullied by fifth graders. Oh, you mean like today, get bullied by fifth graders? Yeah, that's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. And after he gets bullied, moves he exceeds stops working. Yeah. That's true. And they're like, oh no, he had a fatal error. Landing in the bay. Yeah, I got like a weird like crick in my back all of a sudden. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not do that now. So two seven chairs, man. I guess. Be low and slow in this bird. Light slow. Light slow. Your incessant nagging is Light not helping. Light. Yeah, shut up. Quite slow. One hundred. <laughs> Silence you. Yeah, it is. It's put predict, Kevin. I really like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, it won. <laughs> yeah, but... Can I oh. take a little warning if you want to put it in front? Yeah, only because only yeah, Kevin didn't use the right uh, syntax. It's okay, man. Landing light, taxi light on, landing lights off. Flaps are coming up. Do you have any extra camera views for this aircraft? I do. I do. Uh, like wing views? Like, it's loud, be ready. 
I right by the APU. Uh, that's not the APU. The APU's on the other side. It's right by the engine. <laughs> and I don't know why I'm going to the terminal. This is a FedEx aircraft. I guess I should go over there. My phone going off. Oh. Ooh, Frisco's pretty. So I had a sub 100 lane with a triple seven. Yeah, almost, but not quite. Though Southwest, something with the view was making me like feel like I should have been pointing lower than I was. That's why I kept happening that way. I was it, like didn't look like I should be as no as high as I should as I was wanting me to be. But you should hold your nose. What were you saying there, Crypto? Sorry. I believe I had a sub 100 with my triple seven recently. A sub 100? Oh, with the, your landing ring? Yeah. Well, I tried to hit the button on Project Flight. Oh. <laughs> well, well, then it doesn't this, count. But how it, how, it, just how, what, how it touched, I thought it was a sub 100 because I had like pretty much a zero indication on my vertical speed. I was low, I was still high, and it, it just touched and it had the slow drop afterwards. Alright. So I'm estimating off just how the aircraft reacted how it the landing ring. Okay, I feel like this is more gates over here. I thought this took me to a cargo area, but maybe not. Oh no, you're taxiing down a dark alley. I am. Okay. I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get mugged by a 747. I... I'm gonna send you something here probably tomorrow, there it is. And, out of sheer curiosity, could you change it from what it is to, uh, Westwood? It depends on what it involves, because you know, you're talking it's about like repaint. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. yeah it may, or, may or maybe not. It depends on how much it's involved, because like I said, repaints take quite a bit of time. I know. It's it's a FedEx repaint for the P, for the 738. This repaint from change it from FedEx or the FedEx purple and all that stuff to replace it with uh, Westwind. Don't we already have a 737 800 for Westwind? He wants us to be, uh, it says freight. cargo. Cargo. Oh, well, you want me to just make the 737 a cargo variant? Like, that's easier yeah. to do because I already have the, I already have the uh, 737 painted. I can just change the the titling, and plug the windows. Yeah, but I just have like, I always have like a little short haul cargo because that's that's how I, I can fly cargo like that one. You don't want me to legit cargo. Gotcha. Oh no, he's going down another dark alley. Did a Cessna 150 that I just all scatter across the taxi bar. Get it? Because it's supposed to be like a cat. <laughs> oh, God. I'll stop now. Oops. What are these weird little points of smoking coming from my wheels? The nose gear doesn't have any brakes. <laughs> then you turn I think it sometimes sharply. it's just wind. I don't think so. I think that's yeah, some goofy going on there. All it's right. Like the mad dog. I guess. If you turn to your at the mad dog, the front nose tires smoke. Uh huh. Where's the dome light in this thing? I forget where. It's one of these guys. I like how the lights flicker when you turn them on. That's control stand. I know. Isn't that cool? That's dome red. That's map. Okay. One of these is the stupid, like... Press shift S. Overhead something. panel, forward panel. That's that. One of them is a dome light. Where is the dumb dome light? Oh, dome light. There you are. Aha! There we go. It's somewhere around here. Okay, I can turn. That's not really necessary now. Okay. What I do want is this guy. Nope, I want this guy. GPU cart. And ground off. Isn't there a way you can get an FMC in, the, in this 727? Uh, there is, but it's cheating if you ask me. Ground power selected. Actually, in the late in 
their 90s is when I know. they retrofitted. I know, but we're not... The fun so of the 7... I know, but the fun of the 727 is... The Slant Alpha Flying. Well, Slant Whiskey, actually. Crypto stop ruining their fun. Yeah! I'm gonna be really upset. Ruining it for me, too. <laughs> With your facts. Take your facts and go. <laughs> All right, Southwest 88. We'll see you later, man. Thanks for stopping in. See you, Southwest. We still like. Mm, yeah, yeah, we still like you. Bullying is out of love. <laughs> Bullying is hey, crypto. Well, oh. No. One likes huh. your jokes. Or your facts. <laughs> no one likes your jokes. <laughs> that was Kramer. That was David. <laughs> Pointing the blame. Alright, uh, let's see, that's fine and good. Is there something I'm supposed to... Nice wall. Ground, yeah, okay. Kramer? Yes? Bad. Okay! Bad well, we made it to, uh... Well, let's see, let's turn off the beacon and the strobe. Well, navigation stays on. Beacon off. That can stay off. Taxi light off. Okay, there we go. Hey, Mark. What? Uh, no, control. Now, did you realize Mark moved into the channel with all us? <laughs> yeah, he's been in here for a little while. Yeah, I know. I just realized he was in here. Oh. Right. Uh, my my eyes were on a sectional chart, so. Got it. All right, well, we made it to uh, Frisco. That's going to do it for us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Probably around 3 or 3.30 will be start time. I'll, uh, I'll tweet it and Discord it and the whole thing. Um, haven't decided exactly where to start from. I've got one suggestion for Atlanta to uh, MCI. Put in, your, put in Discord your suggestions, and we'll see what we decide to do. MCI is Missouri? Kansas City. Kansas City. So you're correct. It is Missouri. You would think it's Kansas, but no. It's not right on the border, though. Um to start doing this if I'm going to do it. Um, anywho, thanks guys. We'll see you. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow for Friday Night Ops. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, Mike. See you. Good night, Mister. Good night, Mike. Good night, Mark. Crypto, you're going to say something to me.